Hi, do we need to turn from all of our sins to be saved? Don't we need to repent? For these questions and more, check out this video. At the end of the video, I will talk about someone who repented, whom will be the last one that you would ever think of would repent. Check out this short video. There probably doesn't go a day by when someone I share the gospel with doesn't tell me that they need to repent of all of their sins before they can go to heaven. Many times I ask them if they know someone who actually has done that. I have never seen anyone actually do it. And I get that response. There seems to be a contradiction. The entire book of John, according to chapter 20, verse 31, was written for the purpose that you would believe on Jesus Christ and have everlasting life. Yet nowhere in the book of John do we find the word repentance. Does that mean that John was just a bit careless? I wouldn't think so. The book of John is the very word of God. But then other passages tell us to repent. What's up with that? Actually, it's quite simple. Oh, that's perfectly feasible, sir. Yes, you do need to repent in order to get saved. Now, did I just contradict the book of John? No, I didn't. The key to understanding the concept is in the meaning of the word repent. The word repent comes from the Latin word poenitet. Exactly, that's exactly the word. Thank you. Which refers to regretting or being sorry for or being displeased with, or the word repenal. So now we look in the English dictionary for the meaning of the same word, repent, and it says, feel or express sincere regret or remorse about one's wrongdoing or sin. But guess what? The Bible wasn't written in Latin or English for that matter, or even not in Dutch. The Old Testament, or the Tanakh, was written in Hebrew and Aramaic, and the New Testament was written in Greek. So we should look at the Greek for any of these passages in the New Testament. The Greek word is metanoia. What does metanoia mean? It means to change your mind. Now it's time to make a lot of sense. In order to believe, you have to change your mind because you weren't believing before. You might ask for what? Well, the issue of salvation is not for you to clean up your life. It's all about accepting the atonement that Jesus Christ did on the cross. It's about who Jesus is and what he did on the cross. It's not about your short life here on earth. The sins actually have already been dealt with. Jesus paid them all on the cross. So what do we need to change our mind about? Now pay attention, 007. Well, maybe a person thinks they're good enough to go to heaven. They need to change their mind and realize they're not good enough. Then they will trust Christ as Savior. Or maybe they need to change their mind on the fact that there is a God. Or maybe that Jesus did die on the cross for their sins. The possibilities are endless. So if someone doesn't believe yet, of course they need to change their mind to believe. You cannot start a car without putting your key in first. Well, some cars you can nowadays. Some people actually need to repent of the definition of repentance. It has not been perfected out of years of patient research entirely for that purpose, 007. But I'm sure you're not one of them. To tell people that they need to clean up their lives or turn from all sins before they trust Christ as Savior is like throwing a towel to someone who's drowning and telling them that they need to dry themselves up first. It's impossible. If you want to know more about this topic of repentance, I recommend this book by Dr. Richard Seymour. He sent it to me about 45 years ago. It was a great read. He goes through each passage that deals with the word repentance. I'll put a link below on where you can order the book. Now at last, who repented that you would have never thought of? Are you ready? Drum roll, please. God, you heard that, right? God repented in the Bible at least two times. If you don't believe me, 
Look at Genesis 6, verse 6, and Exodus 32, verse 14. Now, someone might say that the Torah, Genesis through Deuteronomy, wasn't written in Greek, and that there might be a different meaning there. And that's the very point I'm making here. That proves that in order to figure out what the word repent means, we shouldn't go to an English dictionary, or to a Latin dictionary for that matter, but to the words in the original language, because God obviously didn't turn from sin. Now, if you like this video, and I believe you did because you're still watching it, repent and smash the like button like this. Thank you for watching. Be sure to also share the video with others. Many are confused on this topic and we want to share it with them. God bless you. Bye-bye.